Okay. Uh, greeting everyone. Welcome to the fourth season of Earth 101. I'm Evan. I'm a faculty lecturer at University of Chiputra. Earth One, uh, as we know, Earth 101 is an international collaboration project between the Visual Communication Design of Universitas Chiputra Surabaya in Indonesia, Birmingham City University, England, and Tunku Abdul Rahman University of Management and Technology, Malaysia. Uh, we have learned about the heart and mind of SDGs, how we should contribute in SDGs and connectivity and appropriation. Okay, and right now we have our special guest from Malaysia. Uh, please, Mr. Oliver Chu Cheng Ho or Mr. Oliver. He will yeah. be delivering about fundamental and social campaign. Okay, Mr. Oliver Chu Cheng Ho is a practicing visual art designer specialized in the area of semiotics. He incorporates design thinking tools in his workshops and programs to help clientele and students develop a better comprehension of design development. And Mr. Oliver, also one, uh, one of the chosen scholars to advance his expertise in the UK to broaden his understanding of design elements in complementing local cultural content and context. While he was pursuing his postgraduate studies in Bristol, his appointment as university ambassador has helped enrich his passion and practice in design management and organizing skill. So upon returning, he helped establish an alumni chapter in Malaysia and serve as its founding president in order to add value and establish a worthwhile network for future returning graduates. And on the community front, Mr. Oliver believes in community service and contributing back to the society via his association with King Scouts Brotherhood Association Malaysia. And currently, Mr. Oliver is a senior lecturer with a local tertiary institution in Kuala Lumpur, advocating the importance of design in the disruptive digital world. From his collective experience of having worked with various industries for both government and non-government organizations, Mr. Oliver integrates his passion and skills in helping clients and students implement design-led transformations with confidence. Okay, it's very, very uh, inspiring, Mr. Oliver. It's okay, it's okay. Yes. Thanks, thanks, you want any, any help watch now. Okay, yeah, let me just um, uh, thank uh, Mr. Yvonne again uh, for the introductory of my profile, uh, basically. So uh, let me just go uh, into what I'm supposed to do this morning. I hope my screen is okay. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a topic that we're going to talk about um, uh, fundamental social campaign, basically. Yeah. And then, uh, and of course, uh, the details had previously mentioned by Mr. Yuan. Okay. So um, let me just um, give you all a very brief outline yeah, about what I'm going to talk about. Um, this morning basically yeah so uh, why social campaign basically and of course i also want to touch a bit on the art versus design and also uh, you know because some um, uh, from my experience basically some students still got this confusion between these two words uh, but still uh, some of them they thought they are the same uh, but actually they're not the same uh, uh, art and design and of course with the society uh, 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 um, in the context of the uh, community and society, it will be a whole different meaning altogether. Eh? So today, uh, that we're going to talk about this, yeah. And of course, uh, yes, we're going to uh, roughly. I'm going to share with you how um, what is idea, concept, and message eh? uh, uh, in communicating with the public. Okay, when it comes to the uh, social campaign, yeah. And of course. Um, Yes, these are the, um, the uh, you know, these words that has been highlighted in bold is actually um, talking about the uh, four years, uh, four years of my uh, experience uh, in developing this, uh, you know, together with my team, uh, of course, uh, a team of uh, scouts, okay? I think in Indonesia, you all will call this Pramuga, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, all right? So, uh, yes, uh, I'm going to share with you all for the four years long of, um, of uh, what we call that uh, documentation of this so-called campaign. I mean, um, it, it can be shortened, but then it's just that uh, for, uh, 
my passion and interest in scouting, yeah. So I will just show you all the overall work, uh, what to expect if you are uh, tempted uh, to do social campaign uh, for your uh, so-called project, uh, this uh, Earth 101, basically, yeah. Um, yes, and of course, uh, towards the end here, uh, we have conclusions here, yeah. And in one time, uh, student, you are encouraged yeah, to uh, ask just any question, basically, okay, in order to make this um, presentation worthwhile, basically, yeah. So, yes, um, here, here you go. Uh, 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 after that, uh, briefly, we have gone through the content here. Yeah, so I just want to uh, talk about uh, the word social campaign, uh, all right. So as a graphic designer, okay, so if you look at this uh, very first slides, okay, so social campaign basically uh, involve a lot, a lot of people, a lot of stakeholders, uh, some of the uh, or people, uh, uh, interest groups, okay? So designer, graphic designer, uh, in a way, uh, very much involved with it, all right? Just like this, um, someone from this uh, University of Arts London, uh, all right? So uh, I'm going to use her, a quote here, graphic design itself won't change the world, huh? but the people who understand the power of communication and the use of the design can, okay? So yes, some people also say that um, graphic designer is the agent of change, okay? You can change how a society works, okay? I, I'm sure some of you also um, um, very well works huh? uh, with this phrase, huh? Uh, the power of one, okay? So yes, you can be uh, politicians, you can be uh, activists, yeah? But graphic designer uh, works very well uh, and complement. Uh? Uh, even graphic designer, he or she herself, yeah? If you are serious enough and you're passionate enough, you can do, and you can change uh, how the society works, okay? So yes, this is my uh, uh, passion and interest, especially in scouting, okay? So this is actually my mother's school, okay? Um, it's St. Paul Institution in Suramban, basically, yeah? Just uh, 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 60 kilometers away from Kuala Lumpur, down south, okay? So this is the um, one of the activities from the schools, okay? So um, my passion here, uh, of, of course, with an objective, okay? Because when I left school for more than 30 years, okay, the activity in scouting has been um, uh, uh, um, decreasing. Uh, simply it means that uh, even the teachers are not um, uh, in a way uh, uh, find it attractive, you see. But uh, deep down, uh, uh, true scouting uh, uh, actually built my character during my formative years. And I see that there is a sure ways, okay. So I see a problem, uh, uh, in other words, okay. So as a graphic designer, uh, when I go back and visit my primary schools, okay, yeah, I see that now the reason why uh, my school, my secondary schools, uh, are no longer um, producing so called King Scouts, okay. So, a little bit about King Scouts here is um, uh, it's an opportunity uh, uh, for teenagers that is between the age of 16 to 18 uh, uh, for them to. To, to be recognized as one of the highest awards that can be awarded to a scout, okay? So, yes, everything starts from primary school, okay? But the, um, yeah, by the time they reach Form 4 or Form 5, uh, they should be able to attend these so-called King Scouts, okay? And it's recognized around the world, okay? In UK, uh, previously it was Queen Scout. I think now uh, they call it King Scouts, okay? I think in uh, Indonesia, you all will have it something like President Scouts or something like that. If I'm not mistaken, yeah? So, um, this is, uh, 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 to me, scouting is uh, something very, very interesting because not everybody uh, will find that academic learning uh, in the classroom uh, is suitable, all right? For me, I'm a person who learn the most outside the classroom. And... Uh, Scouting is one of them, yeah. So there you are when you're doing, um, and I and I look at this together with my fellow King Scouts, okay. Uh, we find that there is a sure way, okay. Basically, uh, we don't see 
um, you know, kids from various, uh, 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 um, what do you call that, uh, um, social background, uh, race, you name it, lah, okay, uh, because in Malaysia, we celebrate diversity, okay, and we believe that kids uh, from all social background, you know, when they eat together, they actually, um, you know, when they eat together, when they are young, okay, so they kind of, uh, they have a, uh, a bonding, you know, from there on, okay? So we find that um, it's a very good opportunity when uh, I myself is a graphic designer, I would take upon this as a, a social campaign, okay? Not only to revive uh, scouting interest back in my own school, yeah? We are also showing the way yeah? um, to the teachers, yeah? Because teachers these days, uh, a lot of them, uh, will avoid, you know, uh, going under the sun, you know, and get themselves dirty and so on and so forth, you see. So, um, yes, we will just want to show them how um, they can actually go uh, outside the classroom and still uh, uh, um, teach us and educate uh, the students, basically. So, there you are. Um, when when you uh, any of the groups uh, in this so-called, uh, I mean, uh, today, if they're attending any social campaign, uh, this is one of the things that you have to recognize a problem that is affecting your community or society, okay? So now, uh, yeah, before we initialize it uh, uh, with a team uh, work, okay? Yeah, you got to have a team uh, because a campaign, uh, um, in design work, uh, try not to work alone, okay? So if possible, you have maybe two or three members, okay? So, yeah, because the, the campaign itself is a very, very uh, 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 wide scope, I mean, um, yeah, you can try, you can uh, go solo, okay? But of course, uh, you would not want to um, have so much, uh, 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 like I said, I mean, um, if you have more teammates, uh, they will contribute better, yeah? So now, uh, there is something also that I would like to highlight the, um, the word art and design, okay? So a lot of students actually ask me, sir, what was that, um, uh, the terminology art and what is design, okay? So now, for example, art, art in the shortest definition uh, is actually a personal expression via your drawings or painting, you know? Uh, it's uh, pretty simply, yeah? Um, it was just like Picasso, Vincent Van Gogh, okay? The way how they paint, how they sketch, yeah? How they experiment is all their own personal preference, okay? Sure, sure enough, yeah? Um, they are very famous right now, of course, yeah? But during their uh, lifetime, um, they really struggle uh, because they're actually experimenting something that people haven't seen before. And they, they have this de determination, and this belief, you know, and they enjoy the process, okay? So some of them become really famous only after many, many years, okay? So no, no harm with that, okay? Because art and design, they are related in a way, okay? So all of us are artists huh? uh, uh, in our own way. Huh? It's just that some of us are much more uh, uh, determined huh? to be a designer. So what is a designer? All right, a designer, yes, you got to have that kind of artistic skill in you, but um, a designer is a thinking artist, uh, whereby, you know, um, they will use a skill to solve a problem that is affecting themselves or the community. In other words, they are a problem solver. So in this case here, um, I see myself as a graphic designer, and then I would want to revive um, sculpting interest in the primary school uh, of mine, basically, and of course, uh, hoping uh, when they go through secondary school days, when they reach the age between 16 and 18, they will attain the highest award the scout movement can uh, uh, given to them. Uh, okay, so it is a uh, once in a lifetime opportunity uh, because when the window of that period closes, um, 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 then it won't be, uh, uh, what do you call that, any more opportunity to attend that title, all right? So there you are, all right? So this is what we are doing uh, for the uh, 30 years. Uh, we do not see these things all that, okay? And then this is our very first attempt, as you can see, 
I'm not alone. Um, I have uh, the teachers uh, who believe uh, in our so-called uh, uh, effort, yeah, and also our initiatives, okay. And of course, there are some old scouts, and of course, uh, the teachers, uh, the, the, the primary school students as well, okay. So this is our very first one, all right. So, um, yes, um, <clears throat> when we start to do that, of course, uh, I will take charge of the uh, graphic design, which is the publicity, okay. So when one uh, do social campaign, graphic designer needs to design a logo, uh, a logo to uh, bring about the so-called branding, yeah? Branding and also identity, okay? So in this case, you see two of them, okay? So yeah, one is a secretariat of Arkela. So uh, as you can see, as a, um, a graphic designer who actually uh, 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 utilizes a lot of semiotics, okay? Semiotics here means the study of symbols and signs, okay? So uh, here we have uh, Secretary of Akela. Akela here is Mimpin, uh, all right? Or leaders, uh, all right? So this is actually a word that comes from the Jungle Book, okay? So, and of course, you will see also the Rift Knot of the Scout Movement. And of course, you will see um, the all the animals that you can find in the jungle, okay? So, uh, as three of them, uh, they are all represent uh, the stakeholders. Uh, and, uh, and of course, you, in the center here, you see the school crest uh, of, uh, of my alumni, basically, okay? So, now, if you look at this, this is, speaks, uh, this is very boring, yeah, I must admit. And uh, in a way, uh, but it's who's that sort of authority, okay? So it's only good up to certain level, okay? So after much discussion with others, okay, we felt that we need to brand it in a much more uh, fun way with the kids, okay? So we tend to have an uh, annual camp, okay? So we call it Camp Sri Gala, okay? So there you are. So the as you can see, uh, what has been uh, previously, some of you have gone through the presentation uh, with uh, Robert, uh, okay, Mr. Gabe, yeah. He talks about this connectivity and appropriations, okay. So this is exactly uh, uh, we have used uh, in a very subtle manner, okay. So if you look at it, there is a cross, but in this sense, it has been replaced uh, with the uh, mark of uh, arrows uh, in that sense, okay. And the four quadrant here has been represented with the four types of uh, animals or creatures that represent the water, the land, and the sky, and of course, the kid. Lah. All right, so there you are. Uh, we have two logos uh, uh, that we have uh, so called uh, created, uh, uh, so to speak, in order to brand this whole uh, uh, campaign. All right, so um, there's, there's a lot of discussion, it's not that straightforward. But after much consultation and all that, this is the best to represent everybody's interest, okay? So uh, as a graphic designer, I've been told uh, many of you have gone through either diploma or right now you are the undergrads, okay? So this is the uh, corporate uh, identity system. Uh. So in the actual world, um, yeah, I mean, if this is uh, a, a commercial project, yeah, uh, this will be called a corporate identity system, uh, basically. Uh. So uh, all these are uh, uh, will be the so-called corporate manual for the uh, people who are involved in the production of uh, T-shirt, uh, it could be publications, uh, it could be social media and so on. So all these all these informations are very, very crucial for a successful social campaign work, okay? You wouldn't want to have a, a logo uh, with all kinds of shades, yeah? Uh, even though uh, they are supposed to be, but then they have a certain um, uh, uniformity, okay? So now uh, we, we, we thought that we have all this, okay? But then as we go into it, um, we, we realize that things are getting very, very challenging, okay? So uh, essentially when things are doing for the very first time, always remember this, eh? um, yeah, to spark off a project is very, very, big, uh, it's very, very challenging. Why is it so? It's because you have nothing to rely on and everybody looks up to the graphic designer because graphic designer will utilize his or her skill to 
come up with a visual cue. In this sense, semiotics, symbols and all this, okay? So if you look at this, uh, this is actually, um, yeah, rows and rows of children, uh, actually uh, going towards the, um, uh, you know, the Akela basically is a wolf, uh, like the kid, okay? In the scout movement, I think the story itself is there, okay? So we need to associate with that, okay? So uh, good design would not exist in the vacuum. It has uh, certain connections, okay? So yeah, as I mentioned earlier on, connectivity and cooperation. In this case, this is our the front and the back of the souvenir book uh, showing off um, the emblem of the school that uh, the ones uh, gave me the education and of course the local authority um, that taking charge of all the scouting activity and Secretariat of Akela is the, um, the group of people that initialize this social campaign. So, um, and we thought, um, you know, this is it. And we thought it's going to be easy, but uh, not so, because the next slide uh, will tell you um, when we run this camp, yeah, we need to communicate among ourselves. When you run a camp, you got to know who are the leader, who are the trainee, who are the helper, and uh, the best part is who are the parents, you see. So, therefore, as a graphic designer, we devise uh, a secondary logo uh, in the form of uh, appearing it on the t-shirt. Yeah. So, um, yeah, um, this is a form of uh, so-called uh, 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 identity uh, that we want. Uh, the graphics uh, to be printed on the t-shirts uh, so that everybody knows their uh, role uh, during that camp, be it uh, uh, in the activity, okay? And then, um, in short, is actually, we are into branding and identity of that, okay? So that, uh, that was our very first uh, uh, initial, in, 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 <coughs> initialization, okay? So now, um, yes, um, yeah, we have all the design all planned out, and this is the picture. Like it says that uh, the picture here shows uh, how it works. Uh. So these are all the uh, primary uh, school-going kids. Yeah? You will know that they are all represented in a very simple footprint. Whereas the, the picture on the left, you will see the Akela, which is the, the wise old wolf uh, in the scout uh, 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 history, uh, guiding the, uh, um, the, the so-called cup scouts. Okay? So this is how it functions. Uh, Basically, so as a graphic designer, and this is how we can help to contribute uh, in building a successful social campaign uh, at the uh, basic level, basically, okay? So um, on top of that, when we talk about social campaign, always remember we are also uh, needs to involve not only the participants, not only the teacher, but also the parents. Uh, just like this picture here, okay? This T-shirt here, is also given to the parents, okay? So this is very, very crucial uh, to the success of the campaign because the parents uh, can be the best advertising, uh, you know, method, you know, in order to uh, uh, make your uh, 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 campaign work uh, in terms of publicity uh, better, yeah. So, uh, yes, this is 2016 when we started off this, yeah, we do have... Uh, 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 what do you call that? Yeah, we started with something. Uh, again, like I said, uh, this is an experience that we share with you. Uh, then the uh, the thing here start to prop up. So what happened the next year? Yeah. So I hope you know, to this morning you can you know, you also can take away this very crucial information for a successful graphic designer. Okay, it is always good to tell a continuing story. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Whatever design that you have, you need to think beyond that. How are you going to make an interesting story in the context of your passion? In this case, scouting. Because your audience needs something fresh, okay? So uh, for 2017, uh, so this is year two that we have, okay? Now, I'm going to the next uh, slides here, yeah? Because uh, like, like I said, we have started a logo of authority, a logo for the can, yeah, 
they also uh, did some uh, so-called identification of role for the T-shirt and so on. So we look into the T-shirt again, uh, how we can uh, uh, explain to the public, okay? Using the same symbol and graphics, okay? We can uh, uh, push the level of creativity to something much more uh, relevant, okay? So now, so this is the, um, Wait, hang on, yes, yeah. From blooming ideation to fruition, okay? So um, this is all about Camp Sri Gala, yeah? And uh, Camp Sri Gala is actually one of the uh, annual camp that is being organized by Secretary of Kela. If you look at the symbols that we have, uh, we have an imprint of a uh, bird. Uh, uh, this is the primary school children. Uh, and this is Akela, yeah? And of course, this is the fish, okay? And all these are the pictures that you can find in a jungle, in a community, yeah? in the real world. And then this is how we um, push our creativity to uh, another level, to make it more interesting, okay? So, yes, um, uh, very, very simple, yeah? As a graphic designer, we, as you can see here, we, kind of duplicate it and manipulate it in the form of a circular manner, okay? So we try this and then we saw this, this is, uh, it could be a flower, okay? It could be, um, yeah, previously it's just a very, in a singular form, it is just a very, very uh, direct, meaningful imprint, okay? But when they are being duplicated, it can become a flower, yeah? And of course, uh, yes, we make it much more, uh, interesting and then as a graphic designer we use the positive and negative space okay to make it even more distinctive yeah all right to communicate better yeah so uh, previously what we have here when we run the activity or we run the camp yeah we have the attendance of the cup scout the sculptor that is going to help the akela the leader to run the camp and of course we have the VIPs or the parents uh, or volunteers that can help, okay? Yeah. These are the four group of people. Some may call it stakeholders and so on and so forth, right? So, uh, like I said, um, for this social campaign, uh, in order to be successful, uh, we need to make it much more uh, uh, um, strategic, okay? So, we expand it more, okay? Uh, because we need more... Uh, uh, junior scouts, okay? Because as you can see, there is uh, continuity from Cup Scout, you become junior scout, senior scout, and the king scout. So this is the uh, story that we have. So we are no longer using the very, very, um, 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 you know, if you remember year 2016, we have initiated something uh, basic, but now we have extended it in a much more refreshing manner, okay? So this is the job of a graphic designer. And of course, we must be able to show uh, to the people that we are working with uh, uh, in a very, very uh, 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 straightforward manner. So there you are. So this is how uh, the banner, you know, how the new design works, okay? So I hope um, you will have this so-called um, ideas uh, uh, for a thinking graphic designer you cannot stop at where you are you need to be constantly constantly evolving uh, to something even better to explain uh, the context of your story uh. so and of course uh, in 2018 we uh, uh, we, um, we try another approach okay so and then of course um, 2019, all right, um, wait, hang on. Uh, yeah, I just missed the slides here, basically. All right, so um, yes, this is our, uh, uh, the fourth year of our involvement uh, with the school, okay? So uh, for every year, uh, every Saturday, uh, before the annual campfire, yeah, we actually um, have the opportunity to have a physical contact uh, um, with the kids the teachers, the headmaster, the parents, uh, and of course, uh, uh, members of the public uh, who come as a volunteer, okay? So um, we need to tell a, slow, a story in the, in the, in the what do you call that, um, 
closing ceremony lah. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, to close the chapter uh, because our mission have done uh, good enough. Okay, the teachers also saw and also learn uh, uh, what uh, graphic design uh, can actually uh, can do and also to sustain the interest of the kids. Okay, so um, eventually. Uh, for the, for the uh, very, very final show. So this is what we have. Um, we have this uh, one of the uh, so-called uh, trademark of the scouts, uh, pioneering project. Yeah. So uh, from this ceremony, so we, uh, we thank everybody and then we pass the pattern uh, to the teachers for them to carry on from the primary schools. Okay. So there you are. As you can see, uh, this is one of the... Uh, Drawing bridge, the, the bridge itself is uh, actually moving, yeah, to transport the VIP, and then of course we we, um, we explain to them we have succeeded in uh, delivering what we set out to do basically, yeah. And uh, all right, so there you are. Uh, we come to the content page as you can see of uh, the uh, accumulation uh, of four years of um, effort and attention. Uh, uh, I have just uh, roughly completed it in half an hour's time. Just to share with you how uh, a social campaign, uh, uh, how it works, and these are the things that um, yeah, uh, you, you can see it for yourself. And of course, we come to the item number four here, which is very, very important. Yeah, uh, Yes, um, this is something that I want you all to um, remember. Uh, also to take away from this morning that we are interested in this sort of uh, social campaign work uh, that it could be involving like green issues uh, you know the um, uh, um, whatever social causes this and that okay so um, yes you you got to have a proposal yeah students needs to yeah it's um, it could be just one or two page yeah a four size okay and the uh, Bible that you write, yeah, you have to incorporate these four points basically, yeah. You have to explain why the campaign title now, yeah. It's very, very important uh, because uh, in the campaign work, if this is not explained clearly, so you will find it, uh, you are working alone, uh, which is not so good, uh, right? And of course, uh, the second point here is, yeah, what value can be added to the existing one, okay? So, uh, uh, students also need to remember, uh, um, most of the uh, uh, problem, uh, they, somehow there are some designer or somebody else out there, they have uh, a way to go about, maybe not perfect, okay? So, when you embark on this social campaign, when you want to do it again, yeah, so you have to explain uh, what the value can be added lah, to the existing one. If you can explain this clearly, yeah, more people will love to join your campaign. Yeah? And of course, uh, what and who will benefit from it? Yeah, this is also very, very important. Yeah? By having this campaign, uh, just like what we have gone through for the four years, the campaign itself uh, uh, actually raised uh, the interest in scouting again uh, after a lapse of 25 years. Yeah? Nobody talks about it. Yeah, and we left them. Okay, now the teachers are starting to talk about it. Yeah, and some of them, uh, I have been told they actually went for this so called uh, kusus, okay, a workshop uh, to be a better scout leader, basically. So imagine the teacher uh, actually knock, knocking on the headmaster door there and asking uh, for permission to attend this kind of workshop so that they can run. Uh, uh, scouting activities and the annual camp, like what we did, okay? So there you are, not only benefiting the school uh, uh, children, yeah, uh, the teachers, yeah, uh, also benefited from that, okay? So in your social campaign, if you have something what we have here, um, just like what the benefit is all about, it is a sure uh, 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 a magnet uh, to, to people uh, uh, to join your course, okay? And then the um, item number four, uh, uh, this is something that is very, very important, yeah? So what are the uh, 
Uh, you have to identify, you also got to explain clearly what is the significant value or the message yeah, that the public can get from your campaign. Yeah? So I think um, um, here I only managed to show you the t-shirt. Okay? Actually, there are a lot more. Okay? So like uh, social media and all that. Okay? So like what I said just now, um, to recap, uh, as a graphic designer, we are very, very important, especially in the digital age. Okay? So we leave behind a symbol. It could be a symbol, an icon, a logo, yeah? And all of this can be the identity, okay? And then also, um, if you are thinking hard enough, it can be your uh, storytelling, yeah? a material, so that people can be engaged, yeah? okay? And, uh, and of course, you can incorporate that as the content and the context of your campaign, yeah? which works. Uh, very, very well uh, when people uh, get to understand, uh, you know, the image uh, and the message uh, together. All right. So, yes, is in your project paper. Yes, whatever that you, uh, you and your members uh, uh, are planning to do, it's always good to, import, uh, to incorporate these four points. Okay. And then your investor. La, uh, the people who support you la, or the volunteer, la, simply the, the other stakeholders, uh, they will be more than happy to join you. Yeah? All right. So I guess uh, that's all uh, for my slides. Yeah. Any question? Thank you, Mr. Oifer. Okay. Uh, class, anyone have a question? Anyone? Any questions? Okay. Okay, oh. how can design change people's point of view through social campaign? All right, I suppose that you are trying to ask me how a design uh, can um, change a person's uh, point of view, I guess. Uh. Sorry, I didn't get your name, uh, the girl dressed uh, in uh, yellow, yeah? Yeah. Can I have your name? Yeah, you're very shy. So, Jenny. Shelly. Okay. So, um, to answer your questions, uh, just now, um, I think um, the design is not something that uh, about beautiful things. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, like I will explain just now, um, the keywords, uh, uh, terminologies, uh, art and design. Okay. So, the meaning of art, like what I saying, yeah. Um, and also uh, personal expressions, okay? But when it comes to design, uh, it's actually, uh, there's a lot of hard work, all right? Um, and a design, the work itself is not a monopoly of designers only, okay? So doctors also design, engineers also design, all right? A carpenter also design. Uh, IT also a design, you know, a system, a network and all this, okay? So uh, like what I say, uh, I mean, Answering your questions, uh, a good design, okay, simply means it's a very well thought, uh, systematic um, uh, a method uh, to resolve a problem will change a user's uh, perspective. All right. So uh, I don't know about in uh, I just like this uh, WhatsApp. Okay. Now uh, WhatsApp, you know, if you look at the interface, uh, yeah. So. Uh, the interface has been designed in such a way that it's so convenient for people to use, okay? I don't know how well it's being uh, uh, received in Indonesia. Do you all use WhatsApp? I, I suppose you all do, uh, because I'm using it with Ray. Uh. <laughs> All right. So, yes, uh, back to your questions. Uh. So, all the design, uh, of course, uh, when you design WhatsApp, it has to be uh, friendly, attractive, all right? So, um, in the uh, uh, the Bauhaus movement, uh, they call it form follows functions. Uh, okay, so whatever that you design, uh, it has to look beautiful and yet it is helpful. It is functioning. If you can achieve that, definitely people will love it. Have I answered your question, uh, Shirley? Yeah. Thank you, sir. All right. So, yeah. all right cool all right. okay so actually i have one questions yes right 
Right. So I want to ask about, uh, we know that there are commercial, de commercial design and social design. Like, what do you think? Because today we're talking about fundamental of social campaign. So what do you think about the differences between the commercial design and the service design or social design? Thank you. Um, okay, commercial design and social design. All right, uh, let me just explain to you, uh, whatever it is, just like um, in the university, we have fashion design, multimedia design, graphic design, correct? So the understanding here is very, very clear. Uh, whoever the graduate who took upon the, this, this, uh, any of the discipline, it will become a designer. Fashion designer, multimedia designer, graphic designer. Like, like I explained just now, a designer, um, yes, a designer is an artist, all right? But this is a thinking artist that actually uh, design a very well thought visual solution or a method to resolve a problem that is affecting, uh, affecting, uh, I'm gonna answer your question right now, commercial design. Commercial here means bottom line is profit. Uh. So the designer have to design something that is sellable to meet the bottom line, okay? Where else is social design? Yeah, it could be a CRS thing, a corporate social respon uh, uh, responsibility. Uh, it could be a green issue. So like I say, so this designer will create uh, a series of ads that is actually to promote awareness to the community there. For example, uh, do not dirty the water, you know, and how to take care, you know, how to you know, save water in that sense. So um, that's the... Uh, 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 understanding uh, when we look at the courses, uh, the title of the courses. I hope this is good enough to explain. Right, because uh, right now we have a collaboration between the Chiputra, Birmingham, and also from Tunku Abdul Rahman. So, what's your tips actually uh, to make a great, great social campaign? Like, is there any uh, sort of things that they need to focus on? Uh, to build this project, actually? Um, um, <clears throat> so, this is a very good question. Yeah? So, uh, like I started off with my presentation. Yeah? So, graphic designer in today's, uh, not only graphic designer, like in fact, any designers, yeah? could it be uh, multimedia or graphic designers, okay? Um, you are the agent of change, all right? I think my slides already uh, uh, explains. Uh, uh, you all need to think hard. You have to think critically. Okay, in short, a thinking designer. How you must communicate with the issue that is affecting the nation right now, especially right now. Uh, there's seventeen of them. Okay, so if you were to ask me, my so for all the students here, your project brief. Okay, you need to identify one of the seventeen areas of the SGDs. Right? Yeah. So. Um, yeah, thanks, Ray. Uh, for my scouting um, social campaign just now that I go back to my primary school, hoping that they will come out one fine day become a king scout. This is all quality education, which is number four. That's it. Pretty simple. And make sure students, uh, uh, make sure that you are uh, undertaking a project that is affecting you and all the problem is just by the side of you. You don't try to do a project that you do not have resources or the resources is so far away or so expensive. Go back to your hometown. Go back to the place where you live. All right? And uh, of course, there are some problems. Huh? If there, there is not a serious problem, it is also how you could actually make it much better. All right? How you're going to improve the delivery of a system or to improve uh, the awareness uh, of, uh, of a problem that is affecting your, it could be, sorry, uh, your village, uh, your kampung, uh, your daerah, uh, or whatsoever, yeah? All right? Is that helpful, Ray? All right, okay. Hopefully it's clear for students. All right, is there any more questions? Yes, sir. My name is Jerry. I have a question, sir. 
you said that the arguments in a group make a great terms, but I don't think that is granted because in a group there may be passive members who are AFK. What do you think about it and how to solve it? Okay, so uh, hi, hi, Jerry. Yeah, if I uh, pronounce your name good, yeah, um, yeah, the, the sound is a bit uh, breaking up, but I get the roughly, yeah, you were worried about uh, this project being undertaken in a group manner. Yeah? Okay, so uh, let me explain to you. Um, uh, from my slide, I just encourage you to, when you do social campaign, it's always good that you have uh, one or two member at least, yeah? Uh, all right, because uh, the campaign itself will also affect uh, uh, the society or the community, okay? Like I say, I just encourage you to have a team, okay? If you do not have a team, then you have to, do, you have to scale back your project. You have to be a thinking designer, okay? So uh, now I mentioned the group anyhow, it because in future to come, yeah, you're not going to work alone in the real working environment. For example, if you were to go and work for a company, yeah, you, uh, you're bound to join a team of a seniors who guide you in the first place. Yeah, all right. So, I mean, um, even though if you are your own boss, yeah, you still need help from other volunteers. So a graphic designer can be uh, never working in a silo. All right. So, I mean, if you find yourself working in a silo, uh, yes, yeah, some of you may survive, but it's going to be very, very challenging. But you do not enjoy the whole process. So you have a choice here. Which one do you want, Jerry? Okay, sir. So it's up to you. Uh, thank you, sir. No problem. That's a very good question. Okay, thank you, Jerry. Uh, guys, next question. Uh, good morning, Mr. Oliver. How? How? Uh, so I would like to ask you about the uh, about branding. Uh, what do you think? Uh, does the branding is very impactful in this? Time right now, and how we, how can we introduce our brand to other people? Because when I see in my organization, I see there are many people that don't know about our organization. Say All right. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't get your name. Huh? Oh yeah, my name is Bastian. If you very hard to uh, call it, you can call me. Uh, Yang Song Lai. All right. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Mr. Yang. Eh? All right. Yeah, All right. Mr. Mr. Yang. Okay, Mr. Yang. Um, that's a very good question. Okay. So now, design is not that scary. Eh? Design is all about just an artist, try and error. Eh? Like I mentioned just now, uh, art, the difference between art and design. Okay. But as a designer, you got to have that artistic skill. Okay. You're never afraid of failing, okay? So you mentioned about something called branding. How can you brand effectively in the very beginning, okay? So now this I have to take you back to previous uh, presentation by Mr. Robert Gibb, all right? So if you were to look at the so-called connectivity and appropriation, yeah, which I also use yeah, for my... Uh, 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 Secretary of Akela logo and the Camp Sri Lanka logo. So there is a, a, a similar pattern there, you know, more or less. Yeah? We are using, um, we manipulated the, the symbol and the icon there. Yeah? You will notice just now. Yeah? All right. So, like I say, so you have to be a very a thinking designer. If you were to introduce a new logo, you have to do your research, you have to check. Uh, what is happening now? That's why towards the end of my slides there, yeah, I've just put there, why the title now? Okay, so in other words, students here, you will uh, need to do your homework. Yeah. Uh, enough yet. All right, thank you, Mr. Yang. Yeah, thank you, Cece. 
Okay, thank you, Mr. Yang. Uh, class is, uh, I suppose uh, that was the last question or anybody want to ask uh, one more question again? Uh, hello, Mr. My name is Kasia. I want to ask, is there a certain way to communicate our ideas to big audience, especially when not all people would understand and when there is room for misunderstanding? Thank you. Okay, um, that's a very good question, uh, Kasia. Uh, okay, so Kasia, this, this is how I would try to answer your worry. Is uh, okay? Uh, I think uh, you shouldn't worry too much. Okay, so what you need to do is to start your whatever design first. All right, yeah, and write your project paper out in just two pieces of A4 size paper. Uh, put them in the sketches and then talk to your supervisor. That will be your uh, first move, okay, all right? And then of course, the next thing, I think uh, previously uh, the presentation also talked about something very, very important. You got to know your audience, your target audience, okay? So in other words, whatever project that you're undertaking, you got to know what they're doing, for who? Look at the four questions that I was uh, uh, hoping that you will take away at the end of my presentation here. Huh? All right. So, uh, who will benefit it? Okay. What what benefit the youngster here may not be benefiting to the machi or grandmother. You understand? So you got to be selective. Whatever project that you do, you uh, it's all about your passion. How well you know the subject matter together with the problem. You as a graphic designer, you want to change the perception. You want to increase the accept acceptance of certain things yeah, of the project. Then you got to do your homework. You got to do your research and understand your target who. Okay? Just like just now my presentation, I actually my target here it is the, uh, the teachers. Okay? Because the school children, when we when they join the scouts at uh, uh, at the age of uh, nine, which is standard three, uh, standard six, they will leave school. You see what I mean, or not? But the teacher will not leave the school. Actually, we are targeting the teachers because the, that's why we took four years to train the teachers. All right, the teacher will will have a better. Uh, 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 likelihood to stay there for five years, ten years, okay? And that is where a thinking designer has to learn to understand who are their audience, yeah? When you understand this, whatever that you do, um, you will actually refine it along the way, uh, along the process, okay? So, Kasia, my topic, my explanation here. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you, Kasia. All right. Okay, uh, Mr. Oliver, uh, I want to make the uh, make a clear about something. So after this class, uh, they will make in, they will divide it into twenty groups, and they will make uh, several cam several campaign about SDGs. So uh, so they uh, they are asking you if you have any insight, something uh, that can encourage them to. For this project, I see. Okay, yeah. when it comes to this uh, uh, project, okay, uh, I think um, yeah, I I can still remember when I was a student, yeah, when we were to ask to go for competition, uh, you know, this and that. Okay, uh, first of all, the fear comes in. You know, the fear. All right. So and and then you, um, I also remember. I doubt. I doubt my own capability. I will question myself more, you know. Uh, what will happen if I cannot deliver? Is my existing skill enough, you know? So, Nera, are you there? So, is that the kind of fear that you're having? Yeah, I can say, yes. Please don't be. Don't be okay. Now, like I say just now, my slide there, it's all about your passion and interest. Okay? I put that very, very bold. So students, uh, uh, all the students, if you are listening, I only can tell you one thing, okay? Please do something that you can find easily around you, okay? 
For example, if your hometown is affected with uh, unnecessarily uh, falling of trees, okay, you want to uh, talk about uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the awareness uh, of this so-called climate change uh, due to shortage of trees around your area. All right, so maybe about water, unemployment. Okay, now I, I can suggest a title to you, Nera, but if you do not have enough understanding of it, it will not help you. Therefore, I'm trying to help you by telling you no fear because you are a graphic designer. You go back to your hometown, you go back to the area where you live where you have been brought up, you know the place better you know, than anyone else in the world. Do you get me, Nera? You go back to your place where you live. Of course, there will be problem. There will be problem with the water, jobs, uh, 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 all, the, all the waste, okay? It could be the waste from the human, it could be the waste, you know? and um, all sorts of things, electricity, you know, and so on and so forth. This is you. That's why you got to go back and pick up this, okay? But for me, of course, I'm from Kuala Lumpur. I can tell you what to do, you know? I can tell you, yeah, this and that, but you don't feel it. You don't have the passion, all right? So I want, this is a very good, uh, SDG by UNESCO, yeah, is talking about the whole world asking youngsters like you to go back and be part of the change because it all starts from you because tomorrow the world belongs to you and your children. So that's actually a good one because um, that's what we, I and um, our team in Chiputra always say to students that actually you can start the SDGs from the environment around you. So that's a good uh, insight from Mr. Oliver. So I guess it's all for today in here. So maybe give it back to Mr. Efan. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Oliver. Really nice to, uh, to have you today. <laughs> Thank you.